Only on two tonight, school bus danger. Uh, Channel 2 viewer spots a bus full of children with a lock on the emergency exit door. This is the emergency exit. Why is it locked? Channel 2 investigates on the case, revealing it's not just unsafe, it's illegal. And we found it happening more than once. And here is the picture only on two. It is something that would appall most parents, a padlock on a school bus door that is there for emergencies. This bus was not a school district bus. It was a private school bus, but those also must abide by federal law. Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum tracked down that bus and he found more. He's live right now in Southwest Houston with the story, Joel. And guys, let's add a little context to this whole thing. Do you know for less than $5,000 startup, you can get your own school bus, start an LLC company, and have insurance covered? Of course, that works from the perspective of capitalism, a good investment maybe. But is it working for our kids? School bus accidents are rare. The federal government says less than one half of 1% of all wrecks involve a school bus. But when they do happen, I was scared, really scared. My friend was bleeding. Which is why we were concerned when a Channel 2 viewer sent us this photo. Look closely. The rear emergency exit on this private school bus packed with kids is padlocked from the outside. If there's an accident and the front exit of the bus is damaged with a padlock on the back, those children have no way out and they're now trapped. Kristen Copeland snapped the picture and Channel 2 investigates didn't have to look too far to find yet another school bus with the same issue. This is the emergency exit. Why is it locked? Okay, I, I, I have a kid. This problem does not appear to affect regular school district buses, but rather the private school buses. Parents hire to shuttle their kids when school districts won't. These private buses aren't secured overnight in locked bus barns, so owners add padlocks. But the law is clear. On any operating school bus, emergency exits cannot be locked. I need opening. For years, Channel 2 investigates his documented problems with the loosely regulated private school bus industry. A 2014 crash in Houston involving one such bus was made worse when rusted seats pulled away from the floor. Okay. We solved this particular problem. But this very same 14-year-old school bus bought at auction this year for 2800 bucks, also appeared to have well-worn tires. It concerns me from a child safety aspect. I don't want any children being hurt. Private school buses like this one are inspected on an annual basis, but it's much like commercial vehicles, the same way you would inspect an 18-wheeler. That's how a school bus that's privately owned is inspected. Now, if you see a problem with a school bus, public or private, we've got an easy way for you to follow up and make a complaint completely online. Check out the front page of our website, click2houston.com. We're live in Southwest Houston tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.